To other news now, frustrated parents gathered outside the office of the Member of Parliament for Maruga, Dr. Laval Francis, on Thursday. Desperate for someone in authority to help them with the problem they say they've been encountering for much too long. Their children who attend the Ellswick Presbyterian Primary School remain unable to attend classes as a sewer problem that first reared its head in 2013 remains unaddressed. Janine Brown tells us more. Right now, what do you want? A new sewer. What do you want? A new sewer. Bring back the old time days seems to be the call of parents whose children attend Ellswick Presbyterian School as they believe an advanced sewer technology at the school's compound is the root cause for their concerns. Right now, we fed up by the same thing. Over and over. The system that they have in place is the aerobic treatment unit. That is where they have some tanks and fancy fan and pretty pump and thing. What we are asking for here this morning is the conventional sewer system. The one that we have in the backyard, the one we use home. That is the one we want, a conventional sewer system, the long time one. As it stands, parents say the smell is unbearable, causing school to be dismissed by 9 a.m. since the start of the new school term. It's stinking. <laughs> that is the problem. Over and over, since the school term start, these children home, you know. The secretary of the PTA board, Shelley Haripasad, explains that there have been weekly repairs in the past to alleviate the problem, but at this point, parents want a long-term solution to the issue. We want no weekly pumping. We want no repairs. We want the system taken out and put in the conventional one that we had been lobbying for years ago. She says until this is done, the children will continue to be the ones to suffer. Our children are coming home, they are suffering, they are complaining of headaches, they are feeling upset, their uniforms are smelling of sewage. We are fed up. It is a health hazard and now it has become a, a condition where the education is suffering because we are not putting our children in that atmosphere. So the thing is thinking over and over. So what we want? A new sewer. What we want? A new sewer. What we want? And if Thursday's demonstration in front of Dr. Francis's office does not yield the results they're hoping for, well, the parents say the next stop will be straight to the education minister himself. Janine Brown, C News. Meanwhile, the minister in the Ministry of Education has responded to the concerns raised by parents, giving his assurance that government is working to find a permanent solution. In a post on social media on Thursday, Dr. Francis said the problem at Ellswick Presbyterian has been a recurring decimal of an issue for some time, adding that interim measures to treat with the issue were given, while the officials worked to find a more permanent solution. He ended by saying he will now move to ensure a lasting fix is implemented. 